Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boys, Frogo Reactions here. My name is Logan. My name is Francesco. And in today's video, we are going to be discussing this week's games, which Game. is four wins yes. and two hat-tricks, folks. Two hat-tricks. That's right. Game 51, 2, 3, and 4. We've got hat-tricks galore. Let's get right into it. Here we go. So let's start it off with game 51 against the Blues. Now, first of all, you heard our rant last week about the damn suspension for Morgan Riley. As of filming, it's still five games. They were supposed to have a hearing to appeal it with Gary Bettman. Heard nothing about it. So I bet you it's just still gonna be five games. And if they change it, ooh, four games. Wow, honestly, at this point, I don't care. We're on a four game tear for Mo, and we're trying to go five and zero. Oh, so let's, I don't care. Starting off in the first period, here we go. So Bobby McMahon getting the goal there for a uh, third goal of the year for him. Noah Gregor picking up the assist. Then William Nylander, 26th goal of the year for him. Absolute tear since he signed that contract. Unassisted. Yes, sir. Two nothing Toronto. And unfortunately, Tropachenko or whatever, however you say that, ninth goal of the season. Walker and Kessel picking up assists. It's 2-1 Leafs, but then in the third period, the man, man. Mick, man, doing the McMahon strut. G doing what's best for business. Fourth goal of the year for him. Brody and Benoit picking up the assist. 3-1 Toronto. Then Bobby yes. McMahon. McMahon yes. doing the McMahon strut. Saying, you're fired. And does fifth. Goal of the year for him, hat trick. Thank you, fella. Good Ooh, job, kid. What a bet a McMahon hat trick. Nobody. First NHL hat trick, Giordano and Camp picking up the assist on an empty netter. Yes, and the stats were 32 shots on goal for the Leafs, 15 for the Blues, 0 for 2 on the power play for both teams, 44 hits for the Leafs, 38 for the Blues, 16 blocks for the Leafs, 10 for the Blues, 8 giveaways apiece, 27, 16, and 8 with a 4-1 win here going into game 52 against the Flyers. And boy, did the fun didn't stop. Oh! Didn't don't stop. Can't stop, won't stop, don't stop. First period. Travis Sandheim picking up the goal there on a short-handed goal. All right, that's not short-handed goals. Lawton and Konechny picking up the assist. One nothing, Philadelphia. And then all I have to say about the second period is Matthews, Matthews, Matthews and Matthews. Matthews. Hat trick. 43, 44, and 45 uh, goal of the season. Marner assisting the first one. Marner and Nylander assisting the second one on the power play. And Lilligren assisting the third one. What a stud this guy is. And wait until we get to the next game because it doesn't stop there. Third period. And then when it matters the most, oh they God. do what they do best. Oh and my that's God. blow leads. Good job. They demolish their lead. They say, you know what? We're going to make this more interesting for everybody at home, every Leaf fan across Canada. Right. We're going to make this interesting because we do what we do best. Blow leads. Hathaway picking up the goal there. Fifth goal of the year for him. Cates and Sealer picking up the assist. Then Travis Konegny. Oh, okay. Nice. Power play goal. Great. Owen Tippett and Joel Faraby. Hanging up the time. That's just there. But guess who seals the deal in overtime? Willie! 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 Willie!
No, see, that's not bad. Harder, make an emphasis. What a stud this guy is. Oh, these Absolute. Matthews and Nylander are on tears. And McMahon. Can't forget about him. 28 shots on the goal for the Leafs. 32 for the Flyers. Both teams one for three on the power play. Lots of penalty minutes. Lots of fun in this game. 49 hits for the Flyers. 50 for the Leafs. 20 blocks for the Flyers. 19 for the Leafs. Record improves to 28, 16, and 8 with a 4-3 win in overtime. Heading into Anaheim at home again. Oh, this one was fun. It Woo! was fun. There were multiple storylines in this game, Austin Matthews. Radko Gudis and nine goals. And how Radko Gudis turtled and didn't want to fight big old Revo, baby. Yes. You know what? I dropped the gloves with old Revo and he wanted to fight Max Domi because he's a man. He's a man. He's an amphibian. Say all that. A little but old Matthews is a mutant. Yeah. He isn't human. He's well, not human. He's not he's even not close even to human. He's not from Mars. He's from friggin' Jupiter or something. He's space. He's yeah. just a Another mutant. galaxy. Austin Matthews picking up his 46th goal of the year. Yes. Nice and Marner picking up the assist. Then the Bobby McMahon picking up his 6th goal of the year. Power play goal, Nick Robertson and Max Lajoie picking up the assist. Then Jake McCabe, fifth goal of the year for him. Nylander and Domi picking up the assist. Then, unfortunately, Frank Fintrano picking up the goal there for the Anaheim Ducks. 24th goal of the year for him. Strom and Silverberg picking up the assist. That is 3-1 Toronto. Then... William Nylander, 28th yes. goal of the year for him, Three making it 4-1 Toronto. Lily Grin and Matthews picking up the assist. That's a three-game goal streak for him now. Love to see it. Then, second period, it don't stop there because Austin Matthews, power play goal. Marner and Nylander picking up assist. Let's go. 47th of the season. And finally, okay, so on the power play, Bertuzzi has an open net. And he hits the post. Oh. Bro, I thought I was like, this guy's never scoring again. It's done. But Tyler Bertuzzi. Oh, thank God Matthew's patience gave him a chance and puts one through the pipes. He Seven just literally, season. Matthew's literally said, just stand right there. I'm going to pass what? it to you. Plant your feet in the crease, please. Boom. Passed it and deflected off Bertuzzi. And Bertuzzi celebrating. He got the monkey off his back. He yes. finally is on a tear. And Matthews and Lily Grin picking up the assist. Matthews, hat trick, back to back. Hat -trick. Second time in a season. That six hat tricks, most by a leaf. And climbing the ladder, the most hat tricks in a season in NHL history is, I think it's 10. Uh, so let's see. Maybe he can get there. That would need, you would need five hat tricks to take that new record, four to tie it. Hat trick, baby! Yes. And then 48 uh, the season, Nice and McKay picking up assists. Bobby McMahon scoring again. Max Domi and Timothy Lilligren picking up assists. Seventh of the season for him, heading into the third with an 8 1 lead. Oh, I was hoping everybody was chanting 10 10! Oh, and goodness. Ryan Strome making it 9 2 for Toronto. Yes. Uh, Lindstrom and Kalorn picking up the assist, Anaheim pulling in. How's it going over there in Anaheim, Kalorn? Yeah, I thought so. Then, Nick Robertson oh, making it 9-2. Wired at the hash Eighth place. goal of the year for him, McMahon picking up the assist. McMahon now, is absolutely There the was uh, three goals scored by Anaheim in this game, but one got called off due to no goal, due to goaltender interference. And I love Keith challenging this, even when it was like seven or whatever, they were down. But you know what? You got to respect your goalie. He was interfered with. It, you can't let that happen. You got to challenge for the sake of your goalie. And the, yeah. that was the quickest review I've ever seen. They literally pulled, they literally went to the uh, box. Five seconds later, uh, yeah, we're done. It's no goal. Okay. It was the clearest was interference of all time. I but know, whatever. It ends the game 9-2, and, and that is a hat-trick of hat-tricks for the Leafs because McMahon, Matthews, Matthews uh, getting hat-tricks, and back-to-back -back for Matthews, 
32 shots on goal for the Leafs, 21 for the Ducks, 4 for 5 on the power play for the Leafs. God, I love to see it. 1 for 3 on the power play for the Ducks. There were a lot of uh, fights and penalty minutes in this game. It was fun to watch. Yeah, because Anaheim didn't want to fight, or Radko Gudis didn't want to fight. But Ryan O'Reilly and Ryan Reeves. Benoit Reeves, they weren't having any of it. 50 hits for the Ducks, 39 for the Leafs, 13 blocks for the Ducks, 11 for the Leafs, 29, 16, and 8 with a 9 2 win here going into the Blues. Now, one more thing about this game is I like Reeves getting back to the way he should be. No, he's not scoring goals or getting assists. Revo he's knows got chances, but he knows his role. Revo needs just to know his role here. Yes. His role isn't to be a goal machine, his role isn't to get assists, his role isn't to be an offensive. Points producer. Point producer, anything. Oh, His yeah. role is to motivate the locker room, mm -hmm. make it loud in there, mm -hmm. get it rowdy, and beat faces. That's what he needs get to do. under the skin of the opponents. Beat people six feet under, and that's it. And I think in this photo right here. Look at mm -hmm. Revo, man. Ah! This is the Hulk Hogan. Yes. With his shirt off like the rock. Fresh off the Blues game today, right after uh, the game ended, we're filming this, and uh, it came close, but we pulled out with the win here. Starting off in the second period, Matthew Nyes, the first period was, oh, I'm sorry, it was boring. I was falling asleep. Matthews and Martin are picking up assists, 10th of the season. Matthew Nyes uh, stops a gold drought there. And then Brendan Sad, very sad. <laughs> uh, Parenko and Sunfist picking up assists. Power play goal heading into the third. Then Maddie doing what Maddie does best. 49th goal of the year Popping for him. Goals like it's nothing. Eating apples. That's a, it's like eating M&Ms for him. Yes. Power play goal. Mitch Marner picking up the assist there. Then William Nylander does what William Nylander does best. Four game 29th goal, goal of the year for him. Shorthanded. This man is signed oh, yes. for eight. More years, full leaf forever. Leaf forever. He's a leaf. He's gonna retire as a leaf because that's what he does. 29th goal of the year for him, unassisted. Then Tory Krug picking up the assist or picking up the goal there for the St. Louis Blues. Third goal of the year for him, Thomas and Bucinevich picking up the assist. Then Bobby McMahon of course. doing what Bobby McMahon does best. Eighth goal of the year for him, Mitch Marner and Brody picking up the assist. He scored more goals in the last three or four games than he ever has in the NHL. Because, well, let's face it, he barely plays in the NHL. But I love what I'm seeing here. Uh, he's a UFA next season. I hope the Leafs will sign him because if they do, I'm buying his jersey. That's how it's happening. 29 shots on goal for the Leafs, 21 for the Blues, 1 for 2 on the power play for both teams, 22 hits for the Leafs, 19 for the Blues, 26 blocks for the Leafs over the Blues, 7 blocks. 30 wins on the season, 16 and 8, 4 2 win here in St. Louis. Now, next week's schedule, well, it's kind of this week because we're already through the week, is uh, a little uh, interesting over here. Let's see, it's basically a mirror image because we got Arizona, Vegas, Colorado, Vegas, Arizona. That's that, yeah. And the next two games are back to backs, at both yeah. at 10 p.m. So, yeah. Great, I have school. Good Leafs fans, they're not going to be happy about this one, but uh, that's going to suck because the games are going to end at 1 p.m. Eastern. And man, I like uh, 1 a.m. People got to wake up the next day. How yeah. are we supposed to watch this? But you damn well know I'm not missing these games, especially that Vegas one. Um, I'm definitely not missing that one because that one is on a Thursday. And guess what? I have no school the next and day. And I do, so, so I got to wake up at 8. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and uh, so it's, it's going to be a tough uh, schedule, but let's hope the Leafs can keep this win streak going. Now, I have some news uh, from Elliot Freeman with 32 Thoughts. So basically, they he said that the Leafs have an offer in on Tanev for Tanev only, uh, I think. And they have they didn't offer their first. They offered a bunch of low, low mid-low draft picks. I think maybe their third. Uh, rounder and maybe a prospect or a player or something. So Calgary's uh, fine with that offer as long as they don't get any other offers that include first rounders. So far they have gotten no offers from any other team that include a first round pick. So basically he's ours as long as no other team offers a first rounder. As soon as another team comes in and says we want Tanev, here's our first round pick, 
It's done. We're not getting him. Because Brad's not giving up the first rounder for him. So as long as no teams offer a first rounder for Tanev, how long a, how long are they giving the offer? So uh, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but basically we're uh, two and a half weeks away from the trade deadline. So uh, that's uh, we're getting closer and closer as the time goes by. So we shall see how this pans out. I don't think Tanev should be the only move though, and that's probably why he doesn't want to give up his first. Maybe he wants to use it elsewhere. Maybe he doesn't want to give it up. I mean, we have a we have some pretty good prospects here, but we want to win now. So uh, maybe he just gives it up somewhere else for uh, maybe some more defense and offense. Uh, we would like some depth scoring. That would yeah. be nice. Uh, so that's been today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe at that notification bell if you enjoyed it. Check out our game video here, and uh, we'll see you in the next Peace. video.